Welcome back to Mega Man 5. Uh, it's Wave up. Man. Okay, and so actually... And fall asleep. Yeah, I have a story actually about kind of Mega Man and why it's so special to me. So I bonded with one of my best friends over Mega Man, and as kids, him and I would choose our favorite robot masters, and we had a play structure at our elementary school, Mascot Elementary, and we would section those areas off to the certain robot masters. So we had a group of like four friends, and it was me, him, this kid named Logan, and this kid named Austin. So Dash usually chose Waveman because he liked Waveman a lot, so he took the uh, lowest section of the play structure. I chose Pharaoh Man because he was my favorite boss at the time. Um, and so I chose the highest point. My friend Logan chose Airman and took the middle, I guess you could call it the middle left point. Wait, shouldn't Airman be at the top in that case? Yeah, whatever. We were kids, whatever. <laughs> Pecking order. Anyway, and uh, our friend Austin chose Tomahawk Man and was to the middle right. And so every day we'd go on the play structure and we'd sit at our respective places and we'd always have, and we, in order for kids to come on to the play structure, we would always ask them to do certain tasks. And whenever they'd say no, we'd say, okay, you can do one of two things. You can either challenge us or you can get off the play structure. A lot of times they'd challenge us and we'd use we'd we'd put stipulations on the stupid little things like <laughs> collect bark dust and we'd just like collect bark dust in 30 seconds but like we would get all the super big chips and we'd make those two points as opposed to one so it'd be super bullshit cheap um and we usually win however if they did beat us then we'd be like all right it's pretty cool hey look at that speeder bike there's a lot of those mega man x and so we thought it was pretty <laughs> cool and uh yeah so you know, that's, that's a cool childhood story, I guess. Thanks for that, game. Uh, yeah. That's nice. Hell, uh, and look at these fucking Marine Joes. Oh, you're right. Helicopter Joes or Apache Joes, and they fucking dive bomb you because it's a super effective strategy. Should have talked about that in Stone Man stage! <laughs> I was stoned, though. It's a bit hard. Oh, my. True. Hey, it's tentacle. <laughs> the my. giant feature is tentacle. <sighs> beep boop. A... My mom still won't let me drive the Volvo. <laughs> beep, boop. It's a bionic tentacle. <laughs> bionicle. Oh yeah, right. Bionicles. They're bionicle. Cool. Yeah, that's who it is. There, there's there's three movies. All I know is that the Rock, she, and the Makuta are kind of bastards. All I know is that in the third one they turned into bug people or something. I don't even really yeah. remember that one. stuff. Bionicle it was the Tahoe. The uh, and then in the first movie they played a game of lacrosse to decide the fate of the Bionicle realm, which is actually true. Yeah, it's been rock, paper, scissors. Oh, hey, a one-up. Oh, fucking kill your feet. Why are your bikes green and theirs are red? There's a cool oh no, I missed it! Rip E. Now I need to kill myself. <laughs> Hello, pal. That's, that's a bit harsh. No, that's funny. Because <laughs> I just told him to do it, actually. I was like, Evan, kill <laughs> How are you going to do it? Like, drink bleach, jump off of something, or just get shot? That's how. Suicide is never the answer. I'd like to ask when you need to get a letter. <laughs> I'd like to ask... Why the fact that the cannon doesn't shoot out of the cannon part and shoots out of the bottom part? Great question, Gabe. I cannot answer that for you. Ooh. I have no. Clue. Look at those mountain ass mountains. Look at the city in the background with those power lines. It's nice. Yeah. Like I said, this game's pretty nice to look at. Those wave, those wave effects are pretty good for NES. They are. Definitely a step up from the wave effect in Mega Man One. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Oh hey, one up. Oh. Nice. Got the one back that you fucking killed yourself for, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then it fades into black and you got black. Is this the Mega Man marathon or is it the Evan gets lots of one ups marathon? Because I think it's that. <laughs> Evan, in 30 years, when you release these videos, <laughs> 
What do you think? <laughs> okay, this is like I'll an actual. married and have like six cats by the time we. This, by the this time is what I mean. Published. This Gary, is like you're now... gonna have six cats. Don't this judge me. This is now getting. This is now getting to a super serious question. One, I know you're probably gonna release these. Two, okay, this is a question I've been pining myself for a while. <laughs> and don't take this to any offense. Why are we doing this? Like, it's not, I'm not saying I'm wasting it's my fun. time. It's not, I'm having fun. However, if we're making, if this is a gaming channel, a gaming channel, a, a, a gaming channel, <laughs> a gaming channel, with, and you only got like, I don't know, like what, 50 or something subscribers? 70? Fuck it. We'll just say around 60 plus. Honestly, is 60 plus views going to make this meme worth it? As long as you had fun. Okay, that's Yeah, cool. that, that, I, I was actually going to say the same thing as Carrie did. And here's Waveman. He's cool, but he's kind of... I'm 100% serious. I think anything is worth doing if you have fun doing it. You know, as long as it's not harming you or others. I said you know, the same thing about sex. I said the same thing against revenge against my against the evil ones. What? Revenge of the Sith? <laughs> no, don't talk about Revenge of the Sith. I mean it's the best of the prequels, but that's the thing, it's the best of the prequels. I think if you do anything for fame, then it's just like not worth it. You have to enjoy what you're doing and accept the fact that you might not get noticed for it, you know? I think, as, I think as long as you're okay with not getting noticed for something and you still enjoy doing it, then it's totally worth doing it. You know, Shit. you know, because I because I brought up the prequels, Gabe. I have a question for you. Yes. Um, what would you ra what would you rather watch? Uh, Raiden and Rose in Metal Gear Solid Two or Anakin and Padme in Star Wars Episode Two? Okay, first of all, I like to say that in my I like Attack of the Clones the best. Actually, no, I don't. Now that I think about it, I like the part with the clone troopers, and that's it. Yeah, I love um, the troopers. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Okay. So, fuck. Okay. Anakin and Padway. 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 <laughs> Padme. The W is flipped upside down. Anakin and Pac-Man. I switched it to Wumbo. <laughs> anyway, so, um. The you only reason why is Pat. because with Raiden and Rose, I'm not saying the voice acting is terrible. If anything, it's actually pretty okay. However, the voice actors do sound very uncomfortable saying their lines. Now, let me give regards to Anakin and Padme. They um, look uncomfortable giving their lines, and they sound uncomfortable giving their lines. And so at least you know what you're getting with Anakin and Padme. Padme. Extremely uncomfortable. Padme. Padway. Padme. Agwe. Papa Gay. Either Asa way, they're both shit for similar reasons. <laughs> yes, they are very much shit. Alright, but anyway, next time on Smash Team Games, we talk about something better than that, I hopefully. I get to see, take I, I, I just get more tired I, as the night goes on, so we'll see. I get to take my nap, and it'll yeah. be so much better. <laughs> when I wake up in an hour, I'll be a new game. Star Wars Episode Four: A New Gabe. 